Hello and welcome to Pango Tips number one, in which I tell you how to export a marching cube model from Magicka Voxel into everyone's favourite game engine, Unity. First, let's open Magicka Voxel. Here's a skeleton from Dungeon Under London. And what we're going to do is click on Export down here, MC for Marching Cube. That will bring up a dialog, allow us to save the file as a .ply file. I won't do it because I've already done it. Now unfortunately this .ply file can't go straight into Unity. It also can't go into Modo, Mudbox or Maya or any of the large 3D modelling packages. What it can go into is Blender. If you don't have Blender, download it from blender.org, install it, and here we go. Open it up, the default scene has a cube. Right click on the cube and delete it, just so it won't get in the way. Press delete or X on the keyboard, then click on delete or press return. Now, we need to import our file, file, import.ply, then use this arcane interface to browse to where you've saved the .ply file from Magicka Voxel, here it is, skeleton.ply import it and there we go, here's our skeleton you won't immediately be able to see the colour on it but you can if you click on this little control down here and select texture now what we want to do is make sure this is selected by right clicking on the skeleton then go to file export fbx then click to where you want to export the FBX2 and again I won't do it because I've already done it but then click export FBX and it will be exported as an FBX file oh wait make sure you've clicked down here on export FBX selected objects it's on the main tab if the main tab isn't selected make sure you select that selected objects otherwise it will export the lamp and the camera and the default cube if you didn't delete that and we only want to export the skeleton so select that now we've got an FBX file, we can open up Unity, this is uh, a blank project in Unity. You can drag in our Skellington FBX and you can see I made the mistake I've warned you against of having a camera and a lamp exported but anyway this is the Skellington and again there's no colour information. Why is that? Well that's because there's no texture associated with this model, all the colour is in the vertices as RGB data. So unfortunately Unity hasn't the ability to show us these colors from the vertices with its standard shader. So what we need to do is go on the internet again, our web browser's handy, and go to this page here, forumunity3d.com, threads, standard shader with vertex colors, the link is actually in the article, and click on updated version to get the new version of this chap or chap s's shader which will show you the vertex colors comes down as unity vc dot unity package open that it will import into unity uh, leave everything selected click on import in it all comes then on skellington we can go into the shader and we can now select either standard vertex color or standard specular vertex color depending on whether we want the ability to edit the specular highlight map or not let's select standard vertex color and bam there you go our colors are back drag skellington into the scene scroll out and there you go one skellington ready to make your spoopy game and delight and amaze your friends and family or make yourself a fortune that's all from me today thanks very much see you next time Thank you.